Welcome back to New Day. Now, with so much pressure from TV and social media, it can be really easy to develop a negative body image. It is so true, but that doesn't mean there isn't an effort to change the way we look at our bodies. I spoke with Dr. Lexi Kite, who, along with her sister, wrote a book called More Than a Body. So this book, you know, the title is More Than a Body, and that is really the umbrella through which we have done all of our research and all of our activism. We want girls and women to know that in a world that begs them to believe their bodies are their primary source of power and happiness, the only way they're going to be loved, the only way they'll be successful, that they are more. That in a world where girls and women are so defined by their bodies, so consumed by their flaws and their parts, our work that Lindsay and I do at Beauty Redefined through our book is to help people recognize how they can be more. That is incredible. An incredible work you're doing for women of every age, from my daughter, who I want her to have a positive body image, to women of all ages who are aging and, and facing that. Why did you decided to write a book on this topic? Yeah, so I have an identical twin sister and years ago we did our masters and our PhDs in the field of body image resilience. We were talking about body image before it was a buzzword and we're so glad more people are talking about it now. So we've run this nonprofit called Beauty Redefined for more than 10 years. And in the last couple of years, our presence has grown online. We've done a ton of activism, a ton of speaking events, and it was time to get our message out to the world. It's a little different than a lot of the other body positive messages you hear out there because we're trying to help people break free from the idea that they need to feel beautiful to help them see that they are more than just beautiful that the very things that cause them pain their body shame the things they feel like are flaws those can actually be their source of power that their pain can actually be used as their purpose to become more more compassionate more purposeful more powerful in this world it's an incredibly interesting concept. On top of that concept, what do you hope readers take away from this book? I hope readers can take away the ability to live inside their bodies as their own. You know, so many of us, we feel defined by our appearance. And so we evaluate ourselves from the outside. We're constantly thinking about what we must look like to other people. We want people to come home to themselves, to live as a first person insider in your incredible body. We do that through this mantra. Your body is an instrument, not an ornament. When you believe that, regardless of how well your body works, you know, we're all dealing with issues like illness and, and disability and, you know, of the many things that go along with living in a human body. But when you can believe that your body is here for your use, your experience, your life, instead of an ornament to decorate the world, your whole life opens up and changes in some really positive ways, including your health and fitness. And it's a really easy concept to digest, I feel like, for multiple age groups, which yeah. is something that's easily communicated. What surprised you most about that? The research you and your sister did that you mentioned, but even researching for this book. I was most surprised by the hope we have for girls and women. You know, we're so steeped in this research that tells us that most girls and women feel really badly about their bodies. Even the most beautiful among us feel very defined by and very fixated on their bodies. And yet, we found so much hope in the concept of body image resilience. Resilience is, it, everybody knows this, but it's what we talk about in terms of taking the things that have caused you so much pain and shame in your life and being able to shine a light on them and call them out and then make them something that works for you instead of against you to become stronger and happier because of the hard things you've been through, not just in spite of them. And we have gained so much hope that girls and women are resilient resilient, that once we can break out of this prison that tells us to live being so defined by and confined by our bodies, that we will have so much more happiness and power in this world. You know, my final question is, we're in a society that's all about workout programs, diets, you see it all over Instagram. Is there a time when society can start being less critical of our bodies? Oh, I, I hope so. I... I think that, you know, social media is so visual. And so we are just bombarded every day with upwards of thousands or millions of images of really idealized and edited bodies. But I think that when we become 
when we become more aware of the way those images are actually causing us real harm, that they're actually causing us to look at ourselves as the abnormal ones, instead of the edited photoshopped images all around us, we realize we have to fight back, that we have to take back our very lives. And I think our work and this book, More Than a Body, can really help people do that. So I feel like this is just such an important message to share. I think because as a mom of a little girl, it bothers me more than ever when I see these people on Instagram and they're just, you know, and it's a lot of times not even real. It's, you know, filters and things. And I'll admit I've used a filter before to, you know, smooth things out. But you know yeah, what I mean, yeah. Terry? You, you understand, you have a little I, one. I know exactly what you mean. As a dad of three teenage daughters, I, I deal with it every single day. You know, they're seeing images of women who are, like you said, using filters and using other uh, elements to enhance their images. And a lot of times people are trying to compete and catch up with that. Well, I just like to let my daughters know straight off the bat that they're more than just that image. You know, first and foremost, you, you know, it's your creativity, your mind, your education, and and just being a good person. And those are the things that make you beautiful. I love that, Terry. I had no idea that three of your kids were all girls and they were all teenagers. We need to have a segment just on that. Terry's dad advice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Uh, we, need a, we need a therapy session for Terry. <laughs> we'll work on that when we come back. <laughs>